Hello and welcome to day 90. Yes, you heard it correct. Day 90. I am now 90 days older <laughs> at this stage than when I started day one of the 14 day mindfulness challenge. We are definitely into the home straight. We have 10 more days to go. Okay, how are you on day 90? Welcome to um, my new studio. This is what I've been building and putting together for a while. Have a look at that bad boy on the wall over there. Look at that. Be love and give love. Very nice. I've created a space that allows me to connect with myself, connect with spirit, for me to be able to meditate with beautiful music and all of these things. Take me two years. But welcome. And the reason why I've created this environment is to focus on elimin eliminating distractions, focus on being in my own space, focus on the world around me and within me without eliminating or having any problems. And in the amount of people I speak to who say, Paul, I'd love to do your 90 day challenge, 100 day challenge, whatever it is, it's day 90. There's no way in the world I can meditate. And I say, why is that? Poof, easy distracted me, too many thoughts. Oh, that's not what it's about. You know, your, your mind and your thoughts are trying to compete for your attention. And when they're competing for your attention, when you're meditating, how do you then come back? How do you move them forward? And we've done a lot of things where we've talked about how we, how we meditate and how we you know, just accept, acknowledge and breathe it through and come back to our anchor point. It's very true though, isn't it? That's what we need to do. So we need to eliminate, focus on eliminating distractions. Um, I have here today with me um, some of my younger members of my family, two of my um, grandchildren. So they're going to be distracting us. And I thought it was quite apt that we try to do a meditation where there could be distraction. But when there is distraction, we eliminate it by coming back to our breath, by coming back to our focal point. And, and we do it through, through our breath. So it may be a distraction of a thought. It may be a distraction of a noise. It may be anything. You know, I was just talking to someone just now. If you, when you get to that point of you know, being able to mindfully meditate, you could do it in the middle of a war zone, sat in a, in a battlefield and everything else going on around you. And you'd just be comfortable. You'd be aware of it. It wouldn't bother you. Come back to your breath. Day 90. Focus on eliminating distractions. Let's go into a meditation and put a picture up. And what I want you to do is I just want you to just relax. Just get yourself comfortable. Understand that everyone benefits from increasing their focus and abilities. Every aspect of your life could use more focus. That focus you could use to complete tasks quickly, consistently, and with a high quality. And the first and most important thing to do that increases your focus abilities is to eliminate distractions. And we live in a distraction-filled world where many things are competing for our attention. So let's begin exploring how to eliminate in distractions by allowing ourselves to relax very deeply. You're just following your own natural breath, but we know that breathing is essential, yet most of us don't notice we're breathing all day long. And some of us, even for many years, we've never connected in and focused on our breath. We simply forget that we're breathing. And when we decide to take several breaths on purpose, our bodies appreciate the extra oxygen that is supplied through the bloodstream to our system. And now we're going to take 10 full and deep breaths, allowing for each breath to relax you. One. Breathing deeply, allowing your belly to expand and exhale, letting the air simply escape. Two, take another full breath of fresh air in. Let it go, allowing yourself to be very relaxed. Three, breathing in, just make your breath meaningful. 
Exhale, just letting the air go. Four. Focusing on your breath, breathing in, let it go, and realize nothing else matters at this moment in time except breathing. Five, breathing in, fully focusing on this breath in, and when you let it go, feeling extremely relaxed on the way out. Six, all your focus now is on your breath, letting all your worries go when you exhale. Seven, breathe it in with passion and exhale, letting the wave of relaxation come all over you. Eight, the only thing that matters is your breath. Focus on it. Let it come in, let it go out. Nine, expand your belly as you can as you breathe in. And ex when you exhale, let your belly fall. And 10, this is the last one, so make it a really good and full, a completely full breath. And when you let go, you feel so invigorated, it's unreal. And just allow your breath to return to a slower and normal flow. And don't change anything about it. Simply watch your belly as it rises and falls. It's not as much as when you were fully breathing, but it's just rising and falling. And when you inhale naturally, I wonder if you can imagine that you're able to breathe all the way into your toes. Feel as if when you breathe, the oxygen travels down to each one of your toes. And when you let this breath go, your entire legs become light and relaxed, almost as if they're supported by clouds. And now imagine that when you inhale, you're breathing all the way into each fingertip. And feel how your fingers feel when you're imagining your breath extending all the way to the tips. And on the exhale, your entire arms completely relaxed and they feel as light as a feather. Now with the power of your imagination, see that the next breath you're taking goes all the way up your body into your head. Relaxing your mouth, your eyes, your nose and your ears. And when you exhale, you feel light and relaxed, like you're floating on a cloud, floating on water. And breathe in and feel the breath go into your forehead, relaxing away any worrisome facial expressions you've carried throughout your life. And allow the next breath to fill your entire head, relaxing your brain as well as your mind. And you know that your head now has never felt like this relaxed before. And neither has your mind. Your mind is totally relaxed and gently opening. Now, when your entire body and mind are relaxed, I want you to feel how focused you are right now on this relief you've created in yourself. You were just now very focused on breathing and visualizing your entire body. It's loosened. It's felt present. This is the power of focus and how it changes anything you put in it towards. So just let your mind drift and wander now. You don't even have to listen to these words too carefully. But you deeply hear everything I'm telling you without having to try to listen at all. When it's time for you to focus, you must calm your body and your brain first. Get comfortable wherever you are and do a simple breathing exercise and imagine the breath going into all areas of your body as well as your mind relaxing. Every breath, every moment, you relax further. And after this task is complete and you find that you're noticeably more relaxed, get a good understanding about where your focus needs to be. If you have some work to do on a computer, get everything you need first, like a glass of water, a cup of coffee, and turn off whatever lights you need to. You want to eliminate any distractions so that once you begin your task, you can be fully focused and nothing will take your mind elsewhere. Take care of anything that needs to be done, like chores or phone calls before beginning your task, your meditation. Your phones and other devices are off, so they're not distracting you. So you're ready to begin this meditation. Put your devices on an airplane mode or, or turn them off exactly. 
if you're working on your computer don't keep any tabs of your windows open just make sure that you can focus successfully eliminating potential distractions can allow for your focus to become precise as a laser making sure you have everything you need and any pressing tasks completed before you begin your extremely important meditation. If something alerts your mind that you need to, either finish that task first before you start. Take a deep breath in, hold it and let it go. And realize that your environment will dictate the quality of your meditation. And the quality of your meditation will dictate your spiritual and your physical path. Commit to creating an environment that is conducive for you to develop, to have your time, and for you to be able to sit with yourself in a way that builds love, confidence, trust, and surrender. And when you're ready, slowly wiggle your fingers, open your eyes and come back into the room so it's a meditation about focus there's a lot of talking for me did you manage to keep the focus but focusing is very important in mindfulness but also understanding that we can all learn to focus focus isn't something that we do like that meditation isn't something we do like this we all have thoughts that's not the problem it's how we deal with them it's changing our relationship to emotions and fear and anxiety and depression and distractions. Let's try and be more focused. Let's try and be more mindful and focused in everything we do. So if you're doing a task today, be with that task. Don't be somewhere else. Be with it. And enjoy day 90 without any distraction. God bless you for watching. Be love and give love. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, Julian. I love you. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you on day 91. Have a lovely Wednesday. Take care. Bye-bye.